for you who is watching West Nile TV uh, this uh, great morning. As you can see, we are here fully reloaded for the Sabiti show that comes your way every, every Sundays. And uh, uh, today, uh, I must say that... Um, hmm. Mm. <laughs> You're not saying. I, I just have to say you. You're saying you. <laughs> because today we 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 only don't have the uh, usual suspects, but we have the <laughs> real suspects. <laughs> We have the real okay. suspects right here, but we thank God uh, that today we are full. Yeah. Yes, we are full here, and uh, we want to appreciate God for everything that he has done, for how far he has brought us, uh, for the week, uh, how the week has mm -hmm. been, uh, for the likes of daisies who have been missing in Axon for quite a long time. But we really have to report here. here. <laughs> Is too much. <laughs> For the people who didn't uh, watch but uh, thought you had been around, I had to tell you. You had to report me. <laughs> it's well, it yes. is well. So how have you been? I've been great. How have you been? Good. So far, yeah. tell us. For me, at least, I don't even know where, where to start from. But I know for you, you may start on our behalf. Okay, mm -hmm. the people are so great. We wow. thank God. We are healthy. There is nothing that is disturbing us. Mm -hmm. Only that today, the room is full and I'm happy. I believe the word of, the word of God is going to reach His children. Amen. Yes. Yes. So you know, when some of us got saved, mm. they thought that we should suffer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But you see, it is better to su mm. to suffer in the courts of the Lord yeah. rather than suffering outside. That suffering of course, uh, you know. Mm? You don't look any close to suffering. <laughs> You see, <laughs> uh, if I am a living testimony, uh, yes. it should show. Yes. It should also, sometimes you see, the, the gospel is not just preached mm. through the mouth. Mm. It is also through mm. every other the sense. Also. Yes, your appearance uh, should make somebody, mm. if I was made in God's image, yes. hmm, it should look godly. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, uh, Daisy. Yes. Yeah, for 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 those comments. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, last time we were with Apostle Juliet as I hear, she was saying that uh, people think when you get born again, you you're just supposed to be miserable and sad mm -hmm. and weeping all along. But we are here to say that in Christ <laughs> we are enjoying. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you thought you're enjoying outside, uh, the enjoyment uh, outside is better. Than you're missing the inside world. Yeah, you're missing <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so you better get saved and give your life to Christ. You will enjoy this life. But Sifa, eh, with the uh, the coffee, what Let happened? Tell you. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm enjoying God's grace. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I love this it. is what my thank you so very much. Yeah. Yeah. This is what my sister has been saying. We need to look good. We need to. Eh? God's image must yeah. be in us. It's a form of worship. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have stopped there. <laughs> okay, wow. But we shall we shall continue from where she stopped. Yeah. Uh, we have a guest uh, who is right here with us. Yes. And uh, she's called Pastor Harriet. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you you talk more about yourself, I believe. Mm. I cannot really say everything about you, but uh, my role here is just to introduce her and tell her names and. Uh, uh, the rest, I give it to her. She will be able to unveil everything that you really need to listen to. But thank you so much. Uh, as usual, before we go even further in our discussions, before we go talking, talking, we have to pray. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we have to pray yes. uh, to kickstart start this day. Mm -hmm. And uh, many things have happened in the course of the week. Uh, good and bad, we all mm. thank God. Yes. Even for the bad, we say uh, God knows why mm. it is happening. It might be for you good. Mm. As a man of God said, when you pray against something and it refuses to go, you pray, you pray. That stop praying now. You are praying against the anointing. <laughs> Sometimes it's very against the anointing. Mm. So allow God to take you through yes. it. By the time you go through this. it, mm. and afterwards you say, Hey, God. Hey, Kumbu, now that's I why I went through all these things. <laughs> yeah. Now I can manage this. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes uh, uh, we have to allow God to take its course. Uh, so uh, Sefa, uh, 
uh, you're going to lead us into these prayers. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, uh, we have to uh, pray for our dear students. Mm -hmm. uh, we have students in school. You know, nowadays many things uh, happen in school. Yeah, strikes everywhere, even... Uh, uh nasty things are happening homosexuality, uh, homosexuality yeah mm. and the targets are the children are the school yes. going children uh, so we need to pray for our children each and every time that uh, god should protect them mm. uh, sometimes as a parent you're not there always yeah. with your child yeah. Yeah. so when you're not there you don't know what is going on mm. with these children mm. so we need to commit them in the hands of god that mm. really god will protect them there was a school uh, where the, the children ate over food that is poison. not good. Yeah, poison food. Uh, so we pray for such schools. We are just committing them in the hands of yes. God. That, that God should help. Uh, mm -hmm. God should intervene. Mm -hmm. That such uh, things should not happen. 200 uh, students are hospitalized. This is not a good report. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to pray that such things should not happen in our country. And Daisy uh, will still... Uh, pray for finances yeah very important mm -hmm. uh, finances and uh, the church mm -hmm. you pray uh, for for these two things as the spirit will lead you mm -hmm. and I will engage uh, our pastor our guest for today mm -hmm. you pray for um, I, I, I know you, you, you do a lot of uh, territorial grabbings. <laughs> so you pray for West Nile. Uh, that, that really the, the, bad, the bad things that uh, are wanting to come into West Nile and into Uganda protect our territory. Pray against any evil that we want to uh, enter uh, into this country and into our land of West Nile. Uh, so... Uh, your prayers are most welcome. We'll start with Sifa. We follow to Daisy and then um, uh, Pastor Harriet will uh, pray and then we'll wrap it up. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Uh, as you watch us, you can pray together with us. Yes. We are not only doing the praying. We are praying together. It's a fellowship. Yes. Uh, so that's how we do it on Sabiti. And if you're not uh, feeling well, uh, I believe uh, uh, these prayers, as the Spirit will lead uh, uh, us, uh, some some prayers will be released, uh, releasing the the ones who are bondaged in in sin, the ones who are sick. Uh, some of these prayers will be working on you. So just be expectant. Uh, I've not really mentioned everything. I know you might be going through a lot, but. Just pray that God will meet you uh, according to your need right now. Yes. Uh, so, Sifa, you can lead us. Let us humble ourselves and pray for our children. Let us pray. Oh, my Father, O oh God, above all, we want to say thank you this very morning. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the breath. We thank you for everything that you have done into our lives, O oh, my Father. Here we are, Father, standing before you. We are not even clean enough to be in your presence. We want to say we are sorry, oh my God. Father, this morning we believe that distance is not a barrier. We might not be with our children here. They are in different places, oh my God. Others are in schools. Others are bedridden in hospitals. Others are in different parts of the world. But Lord Jesus, all in all, we know you are all over. And Lord Jesus, take control of everything. These, our children, are precious gifts from you, oh my Father. May your will be done. Father, the ones who are in school, Father, that is where the devil is setting their eyes to come in and to destroy and kill. Mm -hmm. But Lord Jesus, we believe that you shall stand for our children, guide them, lead them, and protect them, oh my Father. May your will be done upon the parents also, oh my God. There is nothing that is impossible with you. You are the Lord of possibility. Father, is there anything that is too hard for you that you cannot do? Mm. Father, you can do everything. Yes. And we surrender the ones who are hospitalized mm. this very morning before you, Father. Yes. Because they were poisoned. Mm. Lord Jesus, may you please touch them with your hands of healing, oh my God. Mm. Anyone with the satanic plan mm. to disorganize, 
do bring our children down mm -hmm. father we say no in the mighty name of jesus yes. we destroy the plans in the mighty name of jesus yes. father cover our children up under your precious blood yes. father in whatever thing they do father mm -hmm. like the young ones father we do leave them at home and we come to do work father we don't know what happens but all in all we surrender them in your hands oh my yes. father there is nothing that you cannot do father therefore you like you love your children who runs fast who runs to you mm. coming to ask for help abba father mm. may your will be done i thank you for my brethren who are here present abba father we believe also this morning that the words that we are going to speak mm. are going to reach your children mm. and lord jesus the ones who are not worshiping you mm. the ones who are worshiping idolatry mm. father this morning they are going to change their hearts they are going to come close to you and look for you faster yes, so that we can be in one line for Father, mm. to praise and glorify your holy yes, name, Abba yeah. Father. We want to say thank you. Therefore, we have a lot to put before you, Father. Mm. You know all that we want to present to you, oh my mm. God. We say all this believing and trusting for in Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Amen. Amen. You're the giver of all. You're the creator of heaven and earth. Yes. There is none like you, Father. Mm -hmm. You said if our earthly fathers cannot give us stone for bread and cannot give us snack for fish how much more you abba father you said we do not have because we ask it, we ask not lord we come to you humbly in humility asking for financial breakthrough asking for financial blessing father you're the giver of all you say test and see if i shall not open up the heavens and give you a blessing that surpasses one that is pressed down, shaken, and running over. Mm -hmm. Father Almighty, we ask, Lord Father, may you bless us financially. Yes, Lord, we ask that you teach us, oh God, how to use finances, Father. Mm -hmm. Lord, Father Almighty, you're the one who gave fish for taxes to be paid. Yes. Lord, you said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Mm -hmm. And Lord, Father Almighty, when you, when you created us, you created us in abundance. Mm -hmm. Lord, we come to you. In all forms of luck, you are our provider. Mm -hmm. Lord Father, you are Jehovah Jireh. Mm -hmm. There is none like you, O oh God. Mm -hmm. There are those parents who are still looking for school fees. Mm -hmm. There are people who are looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. Lord, there are people who are who are trading lord father mighty in our businesses mm. teach us your ways mm. teach us how to tithe mm. teach us the financial principles oh, that yes. lord father mighty we shall have the blessing of finances mm. lord father you you you're the god of riches you're the god of wealth mm. lord father may you provide mm. you provided for your for your children the israelites yes. In the, in, in, in the desert land, oh God, you gave them food, Father Mighty. Mm -hmm. Finances is not just money. Mm -hmm. Wealth is not just money. Mm -hmm. Father Mighty, open our... Uh, Mm. open our understanding yes. that we shall understand how mm. to use wealth that lord father even in our wealth in all our forms of businesses mm. in all our forms of of finances we shall use it to worship you and to worship you in spirit and in truth so that father mighty the light that is in us shall be seen even on top of the mountains mm -hmm. lord father mighty may you protect us from all hours of witchcraft that attacks our financial banks mm -hmm. that our ta attacks our hands oh god father mighty lord that which the devil uses to to bewitch us oh god father mighty may you uproot it yes. we bless your holy name yes. we give you glory we believe in the god who answers yes. and lord father you're the god of times and seasons yes. and in isaiah 60 you said in the right time you shall yes. do it swiftly oh, yes. lord father yes. mighty may we be patient yes. that lord in your right time we shall we shall give thanksgiving oh god mm -hmm. we shall father mighty praise you god and lord we even thank you for that which we already have mm -hmm. oh lord father mighty we we have been old we have been young but we have never seen the righteous mm -hmm. forsaken mm -hmm. that lord even in the good and in the bad we shall mm -hmm. say abba father thank you oh, yes. we thank you for that which you have already provided mm -hmm. we thank you for that which you're yet to provide mm -hmm. and lord we give you glory in all our circumstances for mm -hmm. it is in mighty name of jesus christ we pray Amen. 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 Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We exalt, we exalt you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the land of this land. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for the people of this land. We thank you, Lord, for resources of this land. 
Thank you, Lord, for our waters, for our soils. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for the brains that are in this land. Thank you, Lord, for the great men and women that you have raised for yourself in this land. Now, Lord, we lift up this land into your hands. We know that we are people and a land that you have called to yourself and for your purpose. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that, Lord God, your grace will appear to every person of this land, O oh God, that the knowledge of Christ will fill this land, that men and women will open up their hearts to the one true God, and that, Lord God, they will come to the place of giving up on all forms of idolatry, and that they will come to the true understanding of Jehovah God, and that they will live their lives responding to your call and also responding to who you are, O oh God. This day we thank you, Lord, for the children of this land. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will preserve for yourself a generation of young people in this land, that you preserve for yourself a generation of young men in this land, that you will preserve for yourself a generation of men and women in this land, that there will be men and women that understand the call and the purposes of God over this land. And therefore, Lord, because of the call and purpose over this land, we pray in the name of Jesus for your protection over our land, oh God. Mm -hmm. Keep off every wax of Satan from this land, oh God, we pray. Keep off every forms of bandits, every forms of trickery, every forms of, of, of satanic oppressions from this land, oh God, we pray. We pray this day that you will free our land from all sorts of sorcery, from all sorts of idolatry. Free this land of Western, oh God, that we may call on your name, that we may yield ourselves to you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for the things that you have created, even resources in this land that we have not discovered, be it human resource, be it the, 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 the gold, the silver, the different things that you have beautifully created this land with. I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be a season over this land that will open up the goodness of God in this land, that our people will receive the blessing of God, that resources will and flow in this land, that the things that they knew our land was now for, which were not right, they will turn around, oh God, that this will be a season for the move of God in this land. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We dedicate our land to you. We dedicate our people to you. We dedicate our resources to you. We dedicate the infrastructure in this land to you, be Lord and be King. Thank you, Lord. Take your rightful place in this land of West Nile, from the east to the west, north to the south, oh God, be exalted and be lifted high in this land. Be lifted, Jesus, as the only King and Lord over the land of West Nile. We give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, if you prayed with us, we want to bless God uh, uh, for uh, you being with us. Yeah. We are moving on with our program. Uh, we are just opening. <laughs> what are you doing? We are doing? just opening. <laughs> we are just opening. Uh, so, uh, right now, I, I, I really want Daisy to first greet uh, people in Alu. <laughs> this thing, you, you put, I was wasting English, I was wasting English. And I you, 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 Malibi 
Eu já vi ele adoidão, ele tá no guarda-meio dele. Ah, não foi. A Barisa Subui, que lá muito a família West Nile TV, a Tuna Furai Sana, ni Vitamu. Tamo sana kukua ndani ya Yesu, tumewanza bado kuwanza. Tuko hapa na dada zetu Desi halipo rudi katika studio ni tunashukuru mungu sana kwa subuhi huu na tunaye mgeni zetu leo hapa tule mondi watu ya Kongo bonju bonju tule mondi ya la fami West Nile TV tovandi program na viso ya sabiti show oe zala ka dimash tu tozali awa na bambo pa ya ande kuna viso Desi kwa siya zongi to nikibino mingi tovandi kaka kovanda bonju tule mondi boko yoka nilova Yanzambe na kati ya studio awa Uzana ndeko fetas na tiki na maboko na ye Yes, yes She was talking in tongues Let us come back Now you bring us the next one Ubara Mavi The Spagret of Ubara Every person who has made TV in Nazareth See, I'm a child who has a bit in so bepon I'm a androa, I'm a androa Tre Ataza Desi Bia Adria Mabaya Ote Udu Andro Mali Adria Mabetsi Ama Ya Wadifo Mungu Ni Erine Vini Rizizu Ama Beresi Asifa Ani Vini Rwati Ama Ya Wadifo Mungu Ni Erine Vini Rizizu Udu Andro Mali Adese Ejo Udu Adi Woro Iyati Muke Ama Vini Udu Andro Mube Ni Atolo Harieti Erimi Yonze Ama Ni Angere Tunigwe Bipi Mungu Maru Imzuta Berumu Adria Ama Edo Iju Ni Angere Angere Tablene Topic Andro Ama Vini Ledimi Semi Ami TV magia sireko Mia wolo mi TV magia ya o go go Yes, aha Those are the greetings that we 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 had. And they are nothing. Our people of Sudan are complaining. What is the problem? And yet, West Nile TV is clear here in Sudan. Let me send my greetings. Aha, Sabat Kef Nasta Sudan Halena Deyon Kos Ya Ubebe Sanna Bada and Nafi Infi Studio at West Nile TV. Walai ala Karim ala Kwes ana baada program tena ta sabiti show alfi sabiti kuno ana fihini ma ukutai bezi akutai feta skaman fi ina na bezi baada ma baada walai sabarke fanye ta ana hibu ta kumsei sei ana fihini baada na na be fata line tena wonsi maika kum lakin ili be fi wonu sata robu na ma wonu sata dunia Chukranleta Wanu banga mwa gara kwa ba, uba mwa mwa gara kutumi kutumi zara mwe. Tia tuli kwa Sinai TV. Olimi, tulu kula chini, tulu gua. Ovo 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 gara ovo guara woyo. Omuda omubundi woyo. Omuluru mzono. Tuli wamu, ba na ni nani zina ni nani zega tuli kusabiti sio. Ewe ya buri buri sande. Kumacha, paka wonga kusamu samu, wetu komera. Ba na nge. Mbayoza ayoza, mwe bale nyo tula babi yu Eee, mwe bale nyo Thank you so much Your people, you almost brought my mari to come out Eee, you sample, you sample I cannot die in this movie alone Marela wa refer me ngele Eee, mwe bale nyo tula babi yu Eee, mwe bale nyo tula babi yu Ama nuambu mahari ya tibe Ama iyo miava Ambui Otite devia Devia West Nile TV Ama cha sabiti sobe ni Ama chete ejo mungu ni Ama ne mibetu ya lo Asa devia Awadifo Angereto Ringati siba ya awadifo Bongolo Mbele mbele Yes Now we are in one accord But thank you so much For really watching West Nile TV Yeah here we do different language That the Lord has blessed us with We speak it all We might not really be so perfect in it sometimes But yeah we try our best Because we know we need to reach To the nations We need to speak to the nations Yes Yeah we will try Try our level best to make sure that we are the same page. Mm -hmm. But you people, mm -hmm. we are talking about worship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is worship? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Question and answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is worship? Yeah, that is very, very, very important for us to understand this morning. Mm -hmm. 
what worship is. Mm -hmm. But even before we start uh, talking our own, own, own things mm -hmm. about worship, mm -hmm. let us read a small portion of the scripture yes. uh, to help us understand uh, uh, what the worship is will come with our definitions uh, mm. uh, based on the so. scriptures yes. and all that and um, we'll, we'll move forth with our program. So uh, Sifa will do the English uh, version mm. and uh, <laughs> she will spoil the alone. I'll now finish the Lubara. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes. Sifa uh, you can take us through our text for today. We are reading from John uh, mm. oh. chapter 4 from starting from verse 16. We are stopping at 26. Here goes the lady. Go and call your husband, Jesus told her, and come back. I haven't got a husband, she answered. Jesus replied, you are right when you say you haven't got a husband. 18. You have been married to five men, and the man you live with now is not really your husband. You have told me the truth. 19. I see you are a prophet, sir. The woman answered. 20. My Samaritan ancestors worshipped God on this mountain. But you Jews say that Jerusalem is the place where we should worship God. 21. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman. The time will come when, you, when people will not worship the Father, either on this mountain or in Jerusalem. 22. You Samaritans do not really know whom you worship, but we Jews know whom we worship, because it is from the Jews that salvation comes. 23. But the time is coming and is already here. When by the power of God's spirit, people will worship the Father as he really is, offering him the true worship that he wants. 24. God is spirit, and only by the power of his spirit can people worship him as he really is. 25. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah will come, and when he comes, he will tell us everything. The last one, 26, Jesus answered, I am he, I who I am, talking with you. This is the end of our reading in English. Thanks for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Matin le matin mo be shiwe shiwe utie lamb waro mungo makudu mungo be washoni a worship kudugalu utie waro mungo ekedo le matin mo ai bibilia washake ilamba nyonga na yohana guru teka mwen wabisha ke matin da para busiel washi jige ipirarilio wia busiel a washoko mai le matin ube ai ibuku palamba nyonga na yohana guru Teka mwen washaki ya para busiel, wabishi dare bir ipira riyawi ya busiel. Wilembe ni washo kumai. Yesu kudad Samaria. Yesu washo ire kumai. Shidiluwa mshwiri, ekani duwa keni. Daku neduwa kulembe, e washo ire kumai. Shwara mbe. Yesu washo ire kumai. I washo dre kumai. Shwara mbe. Kum naka ibedu kushogia bish man ngato ni bedu kode ka wono de en eshweri ngo maeni e maeni iwasha nda da kune washire kumai ruot aneno inija bela naka ka naka kwarwa giruo iwi goduni iwi goduni nk uwasho nia yerusalem Ema kama mako juruo iye. Yesu wa shuire kumai. Dako. Ia. Sabinu. Maubiru wa iye. Niwegu. Iwi godu ni ngo. Kadok iye Yerusalem. Ngo. Weruwa ni gini maumi ngo. Wandre. 
waruoni gini mawangyeyo kumbot o ae ibajo ya hudi ento sabini maneni uti kawono maju majuruo maju maju majuruo manda gibiruo ni wegu itipu manile manda kumwegu nyanyo wagiju maeni enagibe giruo ire mungu ene tipu manju muruo ire giko giruo be itipu man ile manda daku ni wachire kumaye angeo ya masia bebinu ngati majumu wenu kristo kani binu ebiyero iwapigin sheke yesu washu ire kumaye anma yeru ire nini ana en ini bedu lemu wa matimu ae ibuku mi lemu nyonga mayohana guru mateka mwen washake ya parabusiel washu wajige ipirariwa wabisiel mungu medi umungisa wafoyo mungu yes Uh, awadi na wanfo mwodi pilu bara ama uh, biblia la sabar malia uh, miwafo pi biblia bari uh, minzi buku yohana ne otizane angere risu amerido vasi mudini azia malia miwafo pi biblia bari minzi buku yohana ne otizane angere risu amerido vasi mudini azia malia peji mini chozo risu zumbalere ere elfalo uh, kalto idu ni oromi Maedwa relara Yesu nga yo eritia Minu agupi mini onve Mi envi wa ndo Okunde nga yo onve Yo eritia ma agupi yo Yesu nga yo eritia Mi yo ma agupi yo rejeke Adoskuni adosko Mi mi alendra agupi toipo mini ovuria eri mini ovuzo eri bechuru dore eri agupi mini yo ejo diri mi yo te adaro vesi mudini azia kini oko nga yo eritia opi ma ma vara mi nabili vasi kaliri api amane adrendra mungu inzi oni noria te eme yokini pari e chope o nyiro bani mungu inzi zuri eri yerusalemu wa yesu nga yo eritia oko mi a ima e tu nga e chara e tu ndese Eme nga eme nga ni ata ni inzi oni dri ako kani Yerusalemu ako inde eme inzi afa eme ni nile kore e ama inzi afa mani nile rare e te pata enga ba Yahudi nevo vesi kaldi ni na kini te etu ni nga emura e cha di churu dopo e tu ndese ba inzi pi asi adase di nga ata di inzi or ndese azini asi adarose te ata di ba eri inzi pi benile di ndru vesi kaldi nisu kine mungu eri mungu eri or ndene ba eri inzi pi Ni ma inzi ere orindese azini asi adarose Oko nga jyo eritia Ma ni ra mesaya ni e mu ra Ini ombele kristo rori e Ere ka e mu ra Ere nga afadia Ma e jyo olo amatia Yesu nga jyo eritia Ma jyo pi Ma e jyo jyo pi Mi tiare ma ere e Wadifuwa ere tase La zamavu obiti vansire Asidipi Amesu ere ingazu buku yohana ni malia Otizane angere risu Amedo vasi mudini azia malia Adeko kaldini azia malia Wadifuwa ejo ba mungu nirese 
Yes, so thank you so much. Uh, those were our readings. It has been lengthy, but um, it is all for the glorification of God. We wanted you to pick up from somewhere so that we understand what we are talking. Mm. Like Jesus said, woman, we know what we worship. Mm. For you, you don't. <laughs> For you, you don't know. So we want you to start from there so that we understand what we are talking. Mm. So that we can be on one page. Uh, in sync with the hoodies. Yes. Who knew what we were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so in that sense, uh, let's try to define what worship is. Yeah. Because they are uh, there some uh, Samaritans we are worshiping still they are worshiping but Jesus said they are not worshiping uh, what they know mm. uh, so meaning they are worshiping in vain they are not worshiping the true God so that one means the, there is also another worship of uh, we will go there but let us first start what is worship uh, hey. you started with me uh, worship mm. um, It's too big. No, it is. It is. I don't know which language to start with. You start Let me start language. native because yeah, it before comes, I uh, was, it comes Africa. naturally. This yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to with me a lamb war or mongo. Mm. And penji mo chupe penji tinjo wa shonya. Lamb war or mongo ni ena mumba no. Uh, kama wakwa ni e. Kamo ko umira feta beka wa shonya. Uh, Christo wa shoni dako dasa Maria. Ni a wini war or mongo. Wini war or penji mongo. Wanre wa war or penji Yes. 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 Humility is bed war. War is humbleness mm. and being obedience. Yeah. And, and being obedient. Yeah. So in in in, in Malur, it is mm. easier said because mm. worshiping is directly already translated, not translated, mm. translated okay. into <laughs> obedience. <laughs> into obedience mm. i'll give an example god says uh, no let me give a native example when you have a father mm. to show your love to your father you'll be automatically obedient to your father if he tells you go and fetch for me water you will go yeah. that is a form of obedience but of worship acknowledging he's the one his valor, mm. his worth, yes. and in yes. English that is where the word worship comes from. Mm. Uh, English it was gotten from the word of was, waps, mm. wapscrib, yeah. that was now shorted to worship. Wapscrib is a is, is a connotation of two words, mm. waf and sin. Scribe is mm. to su subscribe to scribe to something to see something mm. and to, worth is the value of mm. something so worship if i was to break it down in english it is showing the worth of something yeah. and how do you show the worth of something mm. obviously the way you do it will show whether it is worth it or worthless mm. so when it comes to worship we are either showing how worthful god is or worthless god is okay. in all forms of of life in talk in mm. show in mm. in sleeping in waking up in doing and not doing now this one you did a lot of homework that is enough <laughs> no this is the holy spirit i swear <laughs> <laughs> so in english i would okay. say yes mm. 
Worship to me is showing the worth of God or the worthless of something. Okay. And that to me, it is in the way I obey what it is. And Dugalura was sharing a shake. Waro Mongo para a Nipu Waro ni Mongo. Waro ni Mongo ni Nipu ni Nedi. Ashelo Makini ni a Mongo ni Enna. Mm. Because if you don't know who God is, there is no way you're going to show His worth. Yeah. There is no way you're going to obey Him. Then you do not want to be a mongo ne ene na. Then you need to veler rampa mongo share. Muti e waro mongo. You need to rampa mongo ne share. You need to iyayi manedi. Ibelu, mol, etemu peri, iyeshu peri. Shalu kita na mongo ayere kude example sha. Ni akau ni u ori ni akeshi de will ki biriti sha. I ai kumweish i she do ni temo pion i waru 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 esha uti la nyut kita ni nyutu mar i waru de na ke jigenye shek mo na opo danya tengo. Okay, wa pa le matrek. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for that definition, a very comprehensive one and uh, simple, easily understood. Yes. I believe that we have all understood. Wanyang meke, meto wanyang. Wanyang wanyang. Eh, mondo kudo mondo Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what you are What what you are wasting your Yes. Uh, so, uh, Sifa, what do you understand by worship? Okay, we will need the uh, different angles. Mm. Yeah. Different so angles that is, and, uh, that yes. 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 My name is Sam. Thing to say about worship. Uh, when we want to define worship, that is according to me. It is a feeling or expression of relevance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and adoration for us. Uh, Deity, like that, just short. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about relevance, mm -hmm. this one comes into what you spoke before. It carries love. Mm -hmm. It carries love. It profounds love and also that respect. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. yeah just because wow. you've explained a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So means Mine, I just want to. Me, yeah. That is it. Respect. Yes. Because yeah. without love, nothing goes on smoothly. Yeah. No. Hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, Pastor Harriet, yes. we are talking yeah. about worship. Mm. Uh, so maybe you have another version of worship. Mm. Uh, would you love to let our viewers also know what you think about worship? Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, thank you so much. I, I wouldn't want to say that I have a very different view mm. from the ones that have been expressed. Mm. But I would just go a little bit in scripture, maybe a bit, yes. just to bring a little bit of a scriptural sense mm. to the definition of worship. Mm. Um, actually, right from Genesis chapter 1, mm. you begin to see God himself creating. Mm. The Bible says he created the heavens and the earth. And we have just talked about when you worship, mm -hmm. the thing or the deity that you worship should be something that is worthy. Mm -hmm. So when we see right from Genesis, we see the work of God. He existed before anything else existed. So we begin to see uh, his work. Not only that, we begin to see as he creates things, he comes to create human beings. So as he creates human beings in Genesis 1, 26, he's not only creating for the sake of creating, but he is expressing his love mm -hmm. to humankind. Mm -hmm. So I want to go right to where my sister um, just said mm -hmm. that you worship that which you love. Yes. So God first loved us. Mm. So he created us and then he created um, the things around us, the waters and, and all the things. Mm. So that makes Jehovah God alone worthy a deity that we give worship to. Mm. So all through scripture you will see worship happening to God. Mm. You will see his creation, one, worshipping him, and also human beings mm. worshipping him. How do I say that? 
the book of Psalms says, even the, the, the waters, the echo, and the trees, they clap their hands. And there is such a worship that rises to Jehovah God. So all these things are expressing their love to him. Mm -hmm. So then if you go to Genesis, now you begin to encounter the patriarchs mm -hmm. like Abraham. When he encounters God, he builds up a, an altar to God. Mm -hmm. And an altar is a place of worship. Mm -hmm. It's a place of meeting. It's a place of expressing your love to a deity. So this begins to establish worship. Right from the book of Worship Genesis. Worship is feeling or expressing so, reverence and adoration for a deity. So when 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 you follow the scriptures, you will realize that um, all through God, not only expresses His love to us, but also we respond to His love in worship so worship is a relationship mm -hmm. worship is what yes it's a connection it is what humankind was created for mm -hmm. it is the real essence why we are here, why we are here. Mm -hmm. but then just like jesus tells this lady mm -hmm. you people worship you samaritans worship but you worship that which you don't know. Mm. So, if you worship that which you don't know, what does that mean? That means that we need revelation. Mm -hmm. We need knowledge. Oh. We need understanding. So then, we can bring our worship to Jehovah God. Allow me to <laughs> hold it there. <laughs> thank you. Wow, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Harriet. Uh, you have brought a very, very significant uh, issue right here. Yes. Uh, starting from way back in Genesis, mm -hmm. how God created uh, the universe and everything mm -hmm. uh, shows the uh, worth of God that mm -hmm. we are talking about. Uh, you see, um, uh, when uh, David uh, uh, met with uh, Goliath, uh, Goliath was mocking, uh, Goliath was mocking uh, the Israelites. He was saying, ah, you people, you're, you're not not even strong or what what yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. but david said uh, who is this uncircumcised philistine the one to... who doesn't know god he doesn't know god but mm -hmm. you people and you are know talking god. <laughs> he's there talking and you're just uh, cowardizing mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. david knew god mm -hmm. and uh, he knew that his god is powerful mm -hmm. he can do exploits that's why he stood there as small as he was but he was very confident knowing that he had a god and uh, that is how David uh, uh, delivered the children of Israel so from the hands of uh, Goliath. Uh, so she also brought a very strong point uh, uh, saying that the creation worships God. That is something that we don't know sometimes, that the creation, mm. even the leaves, uh, mm. they clap their hands for God. True. Okay. There is even somewhere where uh, it was said that mm. if you do not worship mm. God, mm. he will raise up the stones. Mm -hmm. And by the time the stones start clapping, I don't want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that type of worship. Mm. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Like when, when the kind of yeah. helped, yeah. they are still worshiping God yeah. with the fireworks. Yeah. So you may say, they are telling you in church, you just clap mm. your hands and you're feeling sweet. Yeah. Hmm. When, when, the don't want to be, when the stones start. When the stones start. It will be so hard for yes. you. And so that is what we are talking about. Mm. The worship. Mm. And Pastor Harriet brought in something mm. very significant about altars. Yes. You see, in the Old mm. Testament, mm. Uh, they will raise an altar mm. and uh, they will name it, not only raise it, name it mm. uh, by the name of God, knowing mm. that this is where mm. uh, we get our answers from. This is where we meet with God. Mm. Uh, so they had this. Mm. They had the uh, the covenant of uh, the, uh, the the what? The ark. Uh, yes. Uh, they had the ten uh, commandments. 
these these were things that were mm. guiding mm. Uh, the children of God in to show the Old how Testament. to worship, mm. so that they can first of all even know their God. Who doesn't want you to steal? Who doesn't want you to kill? Who doesn't yes. want you to uh, commit adultery? Mm. The do's and don'ts to show me how you love me. Yes, me. I'm also just saying. So <laughs> they, they 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 knew mm. what they were serving. So you have to have the knowledge of what you're worshiping. Yeah. That is what we are saying right now. Mm. Have the knowledge mm. of what you're worshiping. Yes. Now, let us move forth with our, uh, with our discussion uh, today. We are talking about worship. We are just defining worship. Uh, so when Jesus says, uh, uh, when Jesus says, uh, uh, we know what we worship, mm. it means there is the true worship and there is the false worship. Mm. And I want this to be uh, to come out clearly mm. what really true worship means and what mm. false worship means. Mm. Uh, Daisy will witness with me and uh, will agree or somehow that uh, some of our, our practices, cultural practices might really not rhyme to the true worship of God. For instance, um, uh, uh, before drinking water, I know Daisy likes <laughs> this. You first pour it down. Yeah. You first pour it down. Why are you pouring this water down? What are we worshipping? Mm. Uh, so, uh, Daisy, uh, I, I know uh, you, you will throw more light on that. I want to give this opportunity for you mm. uh, to first bring that as, uh, that side of the worship that uh, people normally do. Uh, that side which is really not, which is not of God. Of God, which is not God. the worthless one. But it looks godly. It looks. Uh, it looks sometimes god. Uh, it looks sometimes it's religious. It looks okay. It looks see, really religious. This theme of lukewarm somehow somehow uh, doesn't work. Yeah. With God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, thank you so much, my brother. Mm. Um, yes, like you said, worship is worship. Now, what do you worship? Mm. Because if we are created to worship the creator, what is that that you have created to worship which is not your creator? Mm -hmm. Because if you're not worshiping the creator, then you're worshiping the created. Mm -hmm. Because if everything was, was created by one person, mm -hmm. every other thing which is not of his is of you. Mm -hmm. Which means now it is not godly, mm -hmm. it is something else. Mm -hmm. It is still worship. Mm. But you see, what makes the difference is the result. Yeah. If you worship the Lord your God in spirit and in truth, mm. the benefits are there. Mm. If you also worship that which is not of God, mm. the blessings and curses like in Deuteronomy are there. Mm. Because when God created us, he gave us guidelines mm. Mm, to help us worship him. Mm. Now, I'll, I'll still bring you to the scripture that we read. Mm. It was right for the that's Maria to mm. say, uh, uh for us it was taught to us this way mm. that we go to Jerusalem up upon that hill. Mm. That is where worship is done. Mm. So I'll still start from Genesis. Mm. From Genesis, when we were created in the Garden of Eden, mm. God guided us personally mm. on how to do it. Mm. He would come and commune with us because when he created us, he created us in his likeness. Mm -hmm. So for, it was for him mm -hmm. to come in us mm -hmm. so that we be like him. Mm -hmm. And so that when we do it, we do it in his way. Mm -hmm. Now, when sin came in Genesis, mm -hmm. we lost the way of worship. Mm -hmm. Now, we were also chased out. Mm -hmm. Cut off is the actual word. Cut mm -hmm. off from the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And henceforth we lost our ways because without that communion, without that connection, that network with the creator himself, mm -hmm. there was no perpetual uh, guidance. Mm -hmm. And henceforth man started looking and creating ways of how to bring back that connection mm -hmm. to God, with God. Mm -hmm. And in such, in such a time, it, it developed, God, man started cre pro creating mm. ways mm -hmm. rather than the way that was taught in the Garden of mm -hmm. Eden. Because in 
us we were yearning mm -hmm. to get back to him mm -hmm. and henceforth later on we see that god in in in, in uh, in the plea or in the form to get back to him, mm -hmm. he gave us his son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That is of another day. Mm -hmm. We are still here in Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even, even before we get to, to the other side, yes. we are talking something very important. Mm -hmm. Man wanted to uh, find his own way. His own to way. God. Yes. This is and evident uh, with the Tower of Babel. Uh -huh. Man wanted to reach God. You Physically, see. spiritually, any way it should be done, they tried. Yeah. But you say, you see, the ways of man is not the ways of God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where we stop, like where uh, the tower yeah. stopped, is yeah. where for him he starts. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just bring it uh, as I summarize a bit in yeah. English because yeah. the Lord will say we did not understand because of yeah. don't want to be yeah. the No. The yeah. thing is this. Um, when we were trying to devise those ways, mm. that is when some of the acts that we do even now mm. were created mm. and religialized mm -hmm. to still find a way of connection. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'll bring it back to the verse that we wrote, we, 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 we read, mm. where the Samarian lady was saying that we were taught that we should go to the mountain and what not not. Mm. That were some of the acts that man created to find a way of forming a connection back to God. Mm. But is that what God says true worship is? Mm. That is why Jesus came and said, no, Mm. Now it is in spirit yes. and truth. Yes. And that is how it was in the beginning. Yeah. Because when God created us, he, we were in spirit. Mm. And then he breathed the spirit in us and then formed the flesh mm. over us. Mm. So he took us back to Tangambere. Yeah. Yeah, it is yeah. in spirit yeah. and in truth. Truth being God is the truth yeah. and the way the light and the yeah. truth. So truth is not just what you say, it is who God is. Yeah. So he's saying true worship, it is back in the order of Melchizedek, yeah. back to the order of the priesthood, back to the order of your creator. Yeah. So anything which is not in the order, he even helped us. Yeah. Anything which is not in the first Worship no any other God but me yeah. is not the one. Yeah. The one one the other worship which is not in that is uh, obey your father and mother so that if it is not in that way that is not of the Lord mm. he says do not kill so if it is in the killing and stealing in the adultery and the rest that is not the way of God mm. so any other thing that is not in the way of God mm. is devil worshipping mm. or the other way of worthlessness yes you see it it, uh, it uh, brings to my understanding that uh, the people, uh, according to what Daisy was explaining, the people had uh, seen mm. uh, that the, the worship was uh, becoming a, a religious thing. It was becoming a routine thing. Mm. You, you know that if I have a dub, I have this. It mm. is something. If it is a standard, I go to church. It, it, is, it is enough, yeah. you see. So no. Jesus was trying to bring back that it is not what uh, mm. what was uh, established in Genesis mm, the foundation that this is how it's supposed to mm. be. Mm. Yeah? Yes, uh, Pastor Harriet. Yes, true worship. We are talking about it. Mm. So uh, according to your understanding, I know. Yes, I don't want to move very far from the scripture that we, we read. Mm. And just uh, straight from verse 22 there. Uh, you Samaritans worship what you don't know. Mm. We worship what we do know. For salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers that the Father seeks. 
I liked the version for, for Shifa when it, mm. where it read about true worship is 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 by the spirit, you know. Um connecting that to Christ as salvation and back to Eden where uh, Busy has, has been talking about, you realize that uh, for a human being to worship the rightful way, there has to be a connection with the Father yes. through Christ. Christ yeah. And then when a human being has a connection to the Father through Christ, then the Holy Spirit lives in that human and it helps that human to bring a true worship mm. to the Father. Mm. When I was preparing and, and reading through this, mm. actually I got reminded that any other worship without Christ in the center of it yes. is not true worship. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is not true worship. Mm. Why? Because there are all forms of worships mm. that exist. Mm. And the scripture tells us mm. about salvation and tells us about the Holy Spirit. So how does a human receive Holy Spirit? I just said, when you ask Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, scripture says that the Spirit of the Lord will come and dwell in you. Not only dwell in you, and will give you power to be called a child of God. And then that builds a very close relationship for you and the Father. Mm -hmm. So then you can have a real relationship and worship that comes from a truthful place. Mm -hmm. Now when we look at the Holy Spirit, Mm. He helps us mm. to worship. By the way, we don't know how to worship. Mm. We don't know how to worship God. Mm. He helps us. He teaches us. When you read in Romans chapter 8, scripture says that the Holy Spirit reveals even to us the deeper things of God. Mm. Now let's look at this. For you to worship, you say that you should have understood the mm. what of the deity or the person that you're worshiping. Mm. So if you don't have a relationship with God mm. through Christ and if the Holy Spirit is not functioning mm. actively in your life, mm. you cannot have the revelation and the knowledge mm. to help you to bring a true worship to the Lord. Mm. I already feel like saying praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's the Holy Spirit who opens your understanding. It's Him who helps you to worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. Otherwise, Jesus would have said the songs that you sing nicely will help you to worship. The good voice is you. Why would you tell you because you bring with you? Why would you say the Holy Spirit? The Father is looking for people who worship Him in truth and in spirit. Yeah. And the Bible says the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. Yes, He's the Spirit of God and He's the Spirit of truth. Yeah. Now these two things can only happen when you have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So true worship comes from this dimension. Wow. Wow. I, I love this. Uh, this is uh, very heavy. I wish we could understand it all as it has come. Mm. The Holy Spirit helps us to worship God. Mm. He directs us on how to worship God. Mm. Now, one thing that uh, Pastor Harriet touched is how we, we worship this God now. Mm. You see, mm. if now we know that this is really the God that created the heavens and the universe, mm. how are we going to worship this God? Because now he's just, if it is to, <laughs> there is no, he's, he's, how, worship is not even the word yes. anymore. It is, 
Uh, the Bible says 24 hours, mm -hmm. the elders in heaven, they say, holy are you, holy are you, holy are you. They cast down their they crowns. They cast their, their mm -hmm. crowns, they, they bow down, they are saying, holy is your name, holy is your name, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So, as believers, mm -hmm. as Christians who are born again, mm -hmm. How are we to worship this God that we are talking about? Mm -hmm. I've done MCs somehow, somehow, <laughs> in other places. Mm -hmm. yeah. You find a program comes, opening prayers, mm -hmm. we have it here, and then we have praise and worship, we have it here, and uh, we now have intercessions after that, yes, mm -hmm. we have it. The word of God will come after that. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have it. And then uh, to we offer to come there. We have it. And there, there. It is session so, <laughs> <laughs> if you see the program, mm -hmm. uh, what are we doing? Like uh, the aspect of worship. I, I want, mm -hmm. how do we worship this God? That is the question that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring. Oh, beautiful God. Hmm? How, how, how we bow down, we roll ourselves, we sum ourselves, what do we do? This bed is too uh, big, uh, what yeah. is it? <laughs> okay, do you want me to respond uh, to that? Yes, yes, straight so, Yes, okay, yeah, um, thank you. There is, uh, I want us to understand one thing. Mm. Worship is bigger mm. than the actions that yes. we are talking about here. Mm. These actions help us to express mm. our worship mm. to the Lord. Worship is our life in totality, mm. lived in reverence mm. to God. Yeah. So then now uh, when we come to uh, you, what you're talking about is the congregation of worship. Yes. When we come to the congregation of worship, mm -hmm. we come to a place of fellowship. Mm -hmm. And when we come to a place of fellowship, mm -hmm. there is order. It depends mm -hmm. on where are you worship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where are you worship? It says that where you congregate. All right? So different congregations have different orders in how they run a worship service. Mm. However, I want us to lift our eyes off yes. from this congregational worship. Worship is your life. The totality of your life in reverence to God. Mm. Whether nobody is seeing you mm. or there is, whether you are in the congregation of his people, because David talks about that in, in the book of Psalms. He says, Lord, well, I, I can't wait when I can present myself in the congregation mm. of the people. Because it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. However, there's a life mm. that we live off this camera, off the eyes of people, mm. off the things that are seen. Mm. How does that define our lives? Mm. And it is that life you live in the secret place that no one is seeing that influences, by the way, how you worship in the congregation. For example, you can be in the congregation of worship. And because you've cultivated a relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. you find it easy to lift up your hands and express your worship. Mm. To kneel down yes. and express your worship, to lay down and prostrate before the Lord, mm. to express your worship, because this is your lifestyle, mm. because you're living it before the Lord. So when you come to the congregation, there's no barrier. Yes. You have freedom mm. because the Spirit is active in you, yes. and therefore you bring out mm. your worship. Mm. I will stop here and let others speak up. Thank you. Worship as a lifestyle. Uh, mm -hmm. One, uh, those are the, some of the points that I picked from her. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you should also uh, express the worship. She talks about expressing how uh, you worship God. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, the expression bit 
is also uh, something uh, that uh, uh, we will talk deeper into it. Uh, it, it she said it should uh, come from how you relate with God and how you know God. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't uh, be that uh, Daisy has raised this uh, yes. her, her yes. also. Yes. 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 I also knew. Yes. Yes. So, By the way, hold but, on. I'm uh, so sorry. You uh, see, uh, let, me, let me just water it down. Mm -hmm. the, the, the culture you, you have been groomed in mm. can easily de deceive you. <laughs> not, not deceive you. It, it, it can yeah. reflect, okay. yes, dictate okay. the actions you do while you worship. Mm -hmm. Okay. You may go to Europe and you don't find people kneeling so often. Yes. Yeah. It is not in yeah. their being. Yeah. It is not in what they have been known yeah. to grow in. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to... Very important, that. yeah. Mm. Very, very so important. Don't just do because somebody is because doing. Because someone is yeah. doing. Yeah. Yes. yes. You cannot be in the same... <laughs> <laughs> Except that there are people who come to church, uh, this congregational worship, mm. even not really come to church, but mm. others... Uh, uh, you find that they tie uh, uh, their gods in their waist, you see. Uh, mm. But then they are still coming to worship God, you see. Mm. Uh, maybe they have it uh, somewhere, somewhere mm. in their house, on, in their roof, mm. what. Uh, what do you say about such kind of worship? Is it, what is it? Because I'm coming uh, to God, really, I'm, I'm, I'm praying mm. uh, that really, yeah. I'm even saying, praise the Lord. I'm, I'm doing all these things. Mm. But... At the back, at the back, uh, I also do some other things, mm. uh, just for protection, mm. <laughs> <laughs> for security. About what Brother Fetters has asked me actually to explain to the Christians, to the children of God who are worshipping, you see, uh, most of the things have been aired by Sister Harriet, Pastor Harriet, and uh, also Sister Daisy. That side, you know, the way we worship God matters. Mm. If I have something tied in my waist mm. when I'm going to church, mm. meaning I'm worshiping two masters that mm. will go, mm. but they go. Mm. So the Bible also tells us that to choose the one mm -hmm. you feel you're comfortable, the one you feel you can worship mm. and have that comfortability. Mm. Mm. So, it is good if I want to worship God, mm. then I must be in the church. Mm. I must give my whole life to God mm. and worship in the church, mm. than also to have the things tied on my waist. Mm. Meaning, even if I go and worship God in the church, while I have other things hidden, then um, I'm still not worshiping God. You see that? My mind is divided. So, all in all, I want to say is that we need to follow where to worship, who to worship. You see that? Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Very important. That was a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say, the choose ye whom you shall serve. Yes, mm -hmm. But as for me and my house. Yes. But you see also, this God is not a lukewarm God. Yeah. No two altars. Mm. can uh, shine at once mm. one has to submit to the other yeah. so don't fool yourself mm. if the God is the God of truth mm. there is no way in you you can lie to man you can lie mm. because man looks on the outside yeah. <laughs> but God looks in the inside yeah. you see your act of going to church is not the worship yes. the thing is the being in you the spirit what spirit is it communing with mm. is the actual worship mm. and to me also Mm. Such people are the kinds of people they want, they want to cover mm. the bad things they are doing. They do not want Christians to understand them, to know mm. what they are doing. Mm. And such people must not be in the church. They will mislead others, mm. the ones who are not strong in faith. Mm. Mm. So when you know that you are not all that strong in faith and you meet such a person, can easily mislead you. You know, problems are there. Mm. Things are happening. Mm. I might be going to the church mm. each and every time, uh, giving out prayer requests, maybe a uh, pray for me, and when I see things are not working, then I meet such a person. Mm. The person can is, uh, uh, me, you see me, I do come here, but I have somebody there also. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, me, me. So please, can I check you see? Uh-huh. <laughs> so what we are trying to say, there are people like that, by the way. They say, you yeah. cannot fool God. My friend, you I cannot fool God. But what we are saying is, mm. you cannot fool God. And you cannot, you cannot serve two God. masters at a go. Mm. You see, even... The, the effect of what you have on your waist, the region mm. you have, the what mm. not not, or the small altar you have behind you. Mm. You see, me, I, I, I love truth. Mm. Mm. Let me give you a testimony. Mm. There are some churches we belong to, and then you find the heads of lady. Uh, yes, not heads of lady. <laughs> the leaders. Mm. I, I, I dwell on truth. Uh, the leaders in church. Mm. Yeah. You see, the demon is not mm. coming. <laughs> it, at one moment you will split yeah. and by the time you split you will die because your one leg cannot reach the other side and also reach the other side there is a joining here that is not movable until it breaks and i pray that for those who are in church and you're like you reach a breaking point then you know who god is mm. Mm. And I'm not saying this so that you, you, your life is... No, mm. if that is the only way you can know who God is so yes. that you can do the true worship, let his will be okay. done. Yeah, it is okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so according to what we have been sharing here, mm. you realize that mm. uh, true worship mm. starts from the heart now. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. what I'm, I'm really try. trying to see. Mm. Uh, the heart, the spirit, because uh, the, the heart is connected so much with the spirit. Mm. So the step of our hearts... Uh, very important. Mm -hmm. The steps of a, a, a heart of a worshiper mm -hmm. can allow you to enjoy the Lord or can mm -hmm. limit you uh, mm -hmm. to enjoying the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, Hebrews 10 uh, 22 uh, says that the characteristics of the right. step of the heart mm -hmm. of a worshiper mm -hmm. is the one. It talks about the, the characteristics of the step of the heart. Yeah. So, Pastor Harriet, yes. this heart that we are talking about mm. you see someone might be thinking it is the the, the real uh, mm. so the real what is the heart, heart of god mm. what is god talking about like we are talking about we should come in spirit mm. now for me i don't know the spirit in the flesh. I'm, I'm how, do I like how do i yes. get into the heart of god uh. how do i understand what the daisies are talking about mm. Because for me, I come, all I know is I've come. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, come boldly. <laughs> come. <laughs> so, how do I get to that point of worship? Mm. That is the question that I really wanted mm. to say. Because someone might be watching us, he, he or she doesn't know how to get to the point mm. of worship. We want to know how we can get to the point of worship. Of reverence. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will get to that. Um, something I don't want to get off my mind is when, when Daisy shared mm. about the people who walk mm. double standard yes. and about their worship. Mm. One thing we should not forget is that God is very jealous mm. about worship. Yes. Scripture says that he will never share his glory mm. with anyone. Mm. And that's why he says do not worship any other God except He, Jehovah God. Mm. And do not make for yourself any image. Mm. Don't tie anything, don't put anything mm. anywhere. Mm. I know we'll, we'll look at worship deeper, we'll look at that at some moment. Mm. So I, this came to my spirit and I thought it's important mm. to put this right mm. so that whoever is following us mm. can understand mm -hmm. and save themselves mm -hmm. from the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. He's a merciful God, mm -hmm. but he does not deal down with his glory. Mm -hmm. He takes issues of worship extremely mm -hmm. serious. Mm -hmm. Okay, now to the heart of worship. Mm -hmm. um, the heart mm -hmm. is the seat mm -hmm. of our lives. Mm -hmm. And that is where God is enthroned mm. in our lives. So now, the condition of your heart will allow you to worship the Lord. Mm. 
Now, even scripture talks about a heart. Scripture says about a heart that from it flows issues of life. Therefore, because of that, guard it jealously. And yet it's the same heart from which flows worship to the Lord. Yes. So now, if your heart is clouded with different things, it hardens your heart. Mm -hmm. You cannot bring worship, true worship to the Lord. Hear me well, believer. Mm -hmm. Hear me well, born again, Christian. If you still have envy, jealousy, mm. anger, hatred, pain, pain, mm. rejection, things you've not dealt with, let me assure you that no worship will be able to flow from your heart. Mm. All the things that will flow from your heart are the things we just listed. Because out of the fullness of the heart, a man speaketh. Mm -hmm. So if your heart is filled with goodness of God, mm -hmm. it will flow out as worship mm -hmm. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that means that we need to deal with the hearts mm -hmm. if we are to bring to worship to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Do not let anything sit in your heart which is unrighteous. Mm -hmm. Not even having an issue with you felt us. Because if I have an issue with you, I cannot worship the Lord. Even and God said, first God, uh -huh. your brother, before you come, be your sacrifice. Mm, your sacrifice is worship. Yes. Leave it there and the altar. Go back and sort it. Yes. So now, mm. worship is deep. Mm. Many times we come to the congregational worship, we are all lifting hands. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, so you, start, yes. you start going to the depths of worship. Yes. Uh, while you are talking, I, 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 I thought about this scripture that says, with your mouth, uh, you worship me, mm -hmm. and uh, with your mouth, you also cast people, with your mouth, you also do this, mm -hmm. with your mouth, you are also worshiping God. Uh, the so, same one. Hey, God doesn't uh, want these things. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, as we get into the deeper uh, kind of worship that we are talking about right now, mm -hmm. you need to understand that uh, we 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 are saying that we need to separate these two things. Mm -hmm. We need to separate what God doesn't want and what God wants. Mm -hmm. This will help us to worship God. Mm -hmm. We are still talking about the heart because it comes from the heart. Mm -hmm. Now the worship starts coming. Mm -hmm. You see, people before you come from hey, the mouth, it, it the starts source. from there. Yes, the is the when when you come to church, other people are praising God, other people are worshiping. Really? But others are like this, mm. and and the ones that are like this are looking at the others are saying these are not respecting God. Mm. But the others say you're not respecting God. Mm. How can you just uh, move in church like that? Mm. So. <laughs> The way pastor is looking at me, just because I'm saying you're moving like this, you're not respecting God. Eh? I know. She's like, oh my God. Eh? Uh, how, so uh, there is a way sometimes we have the form of worship in our hearts. Eh? We come because war, eh, there is a war that we have that is uh, outwardly. Eh? But that is not in the heart. Mm -hmm. You see, that is what I really wanted us to correct even before we go deeper into mm -hmm. the worship thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I can come to Daisy here mm -hmm. and kneel down mm -hmm. and propose to her mm -hmm. and say I love you and all that. I've knelt down there. Eh? Mm -hmm. That is respect, by yes. the way. I've knelt down and I've honored her. I've given her the ring. Eh? Yes. And uh, afterwards, uh, I start cheating her. I start yes. doing that. I start even abusing her. I start beating her. Mm -hmm. Where is the war? Eh? Where is the respect that I, I, I really portray to her? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, uh, even in our hearts, as I'm kneeling here, I'm thinking about someone else. Mm -hmm. You see, in the heart. That's why we need to deal with the heart first. Mm -hmm. The heart is most important. Now, if the if the kneeling comes from the heart, mm -hmm. uh -uh, I will really respect her. Mm -hmm. You see, I will make sure that she is happy. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Take us to the heart. That is where I want us the to The heart be. is important. Yes. It is very important. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Um, let's, let's go, go to the heart. 
Mm-hmm. You can read the, read the scripture that we just read from, from John chapter mm-hmm. 4. Jesus talks about the Father seeking for those who are worshipping him in mm-hmm. truth and in spirit. So now, Fetus has talked about the heart. Mm-hmm. That means that the heart that is not truthful mm-hmm. is not worshipping God. Mm-hmm. Your meaning should come from a truthful heart. Mm-hmm. Your expression of worship should not be to embrace mm-hmm. anyone. Mm-hmm. I love to express myself to the Lord. Mm. But trust me, any time you find me laying down, even in a congregation worship, I'm not bothered about who is looking at me. Mm. I'm not bothered about what they are thinking. I'm not doing it for anybody. Mm. By the way, I have a testimony where God has worked on this side. Mm. We got her. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment, okay. yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's a moment in my life, things were so bad that even telling God anything from my heart was difficult. Mm. But we went through that process. But today, mm. So, our hearts should be in cynic with our worship, mm. and it should be in cynic with our truth. Mm. Yeah? It shouldn't be because I want to impress people. Mm. Like you said, you can be walking up and up and down. Let's say in a, in a, in a congregation of worship, you're lifting mm. your hands, mm. you're expressing your worship. Mm. This should come from deep down inside of the really core of you. Mm. It's not because I go to this church. And they worship this way. Mm. Huh? It's because I go to this other congregation and they worship standing and keeping quiet. No, I should be at liberty to 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 relate with God in my worship mm. the way the Holy Spirit allows mm. me to. Mm. The moment is going to tell me to express my worship by a shout. Mm. I'm telling you, I will bring it. Mm. If you don't, the donkey will bring it. Yes, if I don't, I don't want the donkey to bring it. Yes. So I will bring it. What then does the Bible say? The Bible talks about the life in the spirit. It's a life of freedom. Mm. You know. And yes. So then this makes worship an enjoyable mm. thing. It's not a chore that we do. Come on. Worship is our lives. It's not something I do to show that today I've come before you go. Uh-uh. Where were you yesterday? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. okay. So it's not a chore. Worship is a lifestyle. But I can express it in these different ways. So that's where your heart, mm. your spirit, your truth should be in. Mm. Mm. Nothing should be outside. Everything should be allowed for it to be a true worship. Okay. Yeah. Because actually the way you've explained it is I think the way even Christ was trying to explain it to the Samarian woman Mm. because for him to bring out the fact that worship is not just an action Mm. he touched the issues of her heart Mm. 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 yes Yes. whereby he said Uh you first go to the husband Mm. you know for a woman (laughs) (laughs) for men me i'm told i'm not so sure scientifically that the love is usually up up here Mm? scientifically but for women when it comes to love and worship it is for in in here so God was, Jesus was trying to say, for you to understand mm. the fact, the, the, the true worship of 
spirit mm -hmm. and truth. Mm -hmm. It made mirror and relate to yeah. even your heart mm -hmm. connection, mm -hmm. just like woman to man relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Intimacy. Yeah. A lamb shona. Kapodi kapodi ignore shono shona go. If you cannot show yeah. what is the English is good, but the thing is this: yes. what she says is actually true. For the woman of Samaria, mm. Samaritan, mm. the Samaritan woman, mm. to worship God in spirit and in truth, mm. she had to first clear the issues of her yeah. heart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because even then he was doing the actions of going yeah. to Jerusalem, just like the way we are talking yeah. about actions anyway. Yeah. But yeah. the issues of her heart yeah. were not yet in the open, and that's why Jesus said, "Before you first go back." Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it, it for me, it has enlightened me yeah. that my heart yeah. is what also God yeah. is after, yeah. because yeah. that is where the Spirit will manifest, yeah. so that it can be. Yeah. Shown outwardly. Yes. Hey, wow. God guard my heart. Wow. Mm, wow. Guard my heart. Mm. Yeah. Because so even then, easy. I'm just going to yeah. summarize. Uh -huh. Even then, mm. the having of the four, five, three, seven husbands mm. was a form of way of not being truthful mm -hmm. to even one. Yes. It was a form of idolatry mm. and adultery yeah. of which God doesn't allow. Mm. This English is going too much. Tell us in Swahili. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Yes, uh, Sefa, you, you will uh, translate this for us in Swahili. Mm -hmm. I know there are people watching us. They yeah. also want to listen to what we are talking mm -hmm. about. But uh, I just wanted to uh, put this before Sifa comes. What we are saying is uh, the heart is uh, very important. It plays a central uh, part in worship. And... What we are trying to say is not that you, you, I know we, we are all gaining perfection mm. in Christ. We are all trying to be the, the original man that God made, mm. meaning that we are work in process. Mm. It doesn't mean we are, we are angels, we are perfect beings. Mm. We have really not attained it all, like Paul says, but we fix our eyes running towards the cross, mm. knowing that we. Like, because someone might be listening to us and say, Hey, these people are too holy. I cannot manage mm, what they are doing. The heart that we are talking about is, we need a sincere heart. Mm. You see, what Jesus was trying to tell this Samaritan woman mm. is, have a sincere heart. Yes. If you, if you told me I had the same, then uh, mm. nothing And she was change. open and she yes. says, true. We need a sincere heart. Yeah. We need to be loyal. Yeah. Even when you come to God, maybe you've messed up, you've done things. Mm. But when you come, you say, God, I'm here. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. I've done this and mm. that. That is the heart that we are talking about. Mm. A repentant that heart. A, a repentant heart. Mm. A heart that is ready to be taught. A heart ah. that is ready to receive the spirit of God. The one God. David had. Yes. Yeah after God's heart. Yes. That is what we are trying to say. Mm. That we should be loyal. We should have that open heart. We should have the sincere heart. We should be honest. Mm. Eh? Uh, don't, don't pretend. Be honest with yourself. Mm. That is very important. It will help you to worship well. There are points even in my life that when I'm, I'm in church, uh, do you know that sometimes the Spirit guides you mm. like on, on how to worship like you have been saying? Mm. The Spirit is telling you, kneel, yeah. kneel before me. Mm. And you're thinking of suit, what Feta is yeah, going to think. Even personally, you in your suit, you the new one. On how <laughs> to kneel down. You you see. Want <laughs> yes. Or you, you don't want to kneel down in the yeah. letters. Yeah. See for tenor. I was <laughs> once at that point. Uh, uh, yeah. We were in church and, and I felt it in my spirit that kneel down. Mm. Kneel down. It was very hard for so me. So what happened? It was, I, resisted, mm. I resisted for some time. Eh? Yeah. Until when you resist, you just feel you're dry. Mm. You feel True. nothing is working. True. But True. the True. moment I kneel down, down. Ah, ah. Oh, it was a different thing. Mm. It was the, a the different skies. thing for mm. me. Mm. So Sometimes we need to obey. We need to listen like this is saying. Mm -hmm. what, obey is an act of worship. Obey. Yeah. 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 Obey what the Spirit tells you. If the Spirit says lift up your hands, you don't know. By the time you lift up your hand, the, mm -hmm. you don't know what has broken, yes, what has changed. Yes, you have what you have pulled down yeah. or uprooted. You don't know. Yeah. So, Sifa, yeah. 
Kiswahili. Mm. Leo ongea. Eh, wanasema nini watu? Eh. Ah, wanduku zote wa dada wale wako nje sawa hu tuko naendelea hapa na mashauri kutoka katika Biblia ile Mungu halipopenda kila mtu waongea hapa nilipokaa kimya lakini ijawai atini siwezi kaongea hapa tuko na neno la Mungu dada zetu Harriet ako na sisi hapa ili mtumishi wa Mungu kabisa mkubwa ya wabibi alipotoka katika kanisani ya Hagape sasa hapa alipoongea leo leo tulipohona maneno ile imeandikiwa na kizungu ile inasema worship tukichukua hili maneno kuweka na Kiswahili worship na Kiswahili tunasemaje ni nini mbele za Mungu worship amana ya worship na Kiswahili ah siwezi kasema ni kusifu na vile itaweza karudi kusema kusifu bwana lakini kinaye jina ile mena, inaitwa na Kiswahili tukiitwa na Kiswahili inaitwa ibada ibada ni muhimu sana katika maisha ni wa mtu dada zetu wale talipoleta hapa mamanisho gizi tutaweka ibada za Mungu ikuwe mbele na ikuwe katika moyo ya kila mtoto na kristiani mwenye wako nje huko walai ibada ni lazima sana lakini saa zetu ni vibaya sana napenda niongee tu hizi ma point ile maneno mmeta tuweka tukue na ibada mbele ibada ile english nasema straight, straight katika neno la Mungu hapa tulipoona tutafanya hizo maibada haje kukuwa ibada wa kweli mbele za Mungu alipoanza kutupatia maamanisho katika Biblia katika buku ya mwanzo buku ya mwanzo hii ilipoongea tukisoma inatuongelea juu ya maneno ya Genesis hii ina andikiwa na, na kizungu lakini Genesis na Kiswahili ni mwa, mwanzo mwanzo hapa Mungu alipotutengeneza na alipotutengeneza katika ufanana yake tunamfanana sasa hapa zambi ikaingia pia katika maisha ya watu makati Adam na Eva waliporibu maneno njo hapa zambi ilipoingia katika duniani na hii zambi ilitugeuzilia manjia zetu za kufanya ibada mbele za Mungu na hapo tulipohona iko na mahile kitendo ile mwenye natuwekanga chini katika ibada zetu katika maisha zetu na alipoongea anasema ibada iwanze katika roho za mtu yani roho ni ile center ya ile chochote maneno ile inatokea siwezi kasema mimi niko na abudu Mungu na hapo roho zangu inayechuki roho zangu inayo vibaya mingi roho hiyo inapowaza maneno mbalimbali mbali. na katika Biblia tulipoona makati Yesu alipokutana na huyo bibi katika kati, karibu ya maji na alimuuliza nani ni bwana zako na huyo na yeye Yesu alipojua roho ya huyo na alipojua wale wako na sifu Mungu zingine wajui gizi ya kusifu sasa hapa alimwambia kwenda kwa bwana yako na alipojua huyo alipokuwa na wabwana watano kukuwa watano ni kama gizi wewe Mkristo uko na sifu Mungu na kwa njia zingine uko natembea na njia zingine na dada zetu Daisy pia alipoleta maanisha anasema kama wewe ni binadamu tu una uko unasimama lakini hii kama guu imekwenda kishoto na hii inakwenda kipande hii uwezi katembea utakuwa na utavunjika utavunjika je utavunjika yani uwezi katembea inaye ile vitu inakukataza ile uwezi kaendelea mbele ya ama kurudi nyuma unajisimama fasi moja sasa hapa ibada inapenda kutoka kwa roho tukue na roho safi yani roho ni mashine ya kila kitu yani siwezi kafanya nikitaka tusi mtu 
siwezi katusi yani mimi napenda ni tusi kutoka mdomoni ni cha kutusi yani inanitokelea kwa roho ni kutusi hata ile matusi inatoka ah inaanzanga kwa roho upande kwa hakiri alafu mdomo hapa inapoongea ndio roho ni kubwa sana watu zetu ya swahili nilipenda niongelee kidogo hivyo mfamu hizo mama neno tuko naongea juu ni hapa katika studio ya Westline TV bado tunaendelea watu zetu ya Congo nitawafikia Okay. Yes, uh, thank you so much Sifa. I will pick up from there from you. Uh, uh Daisy, uh, our time is really well spent. Yes, uh I know uh we are going to have our studio lines uh, right there on the screen so that we can uh talk together with you. You will be able to use that number to give us a call uh this afternoon. Uh and give you comments about worship, yeah. what you think and um uh, what you have understood mm -hmm. and so forth. Uh, so Daisy eh <laughs> 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 nyamu ilemu ni chake tanga mberesha manya kinde ma mungu ushwiwa eshwiwa ya ipare anpenya shiel meshwiwa mwane ya umaku watin ubedu ni wore ene mungu pia neja shwish po eja epenzo en en wore mungu nesha kinde ma kinde ma mungu shwiwa uketua ipodu mi eden ebe deni ya upodu ebe deni ya uwa wadano kara wa bed ya shell kone ebe de ponjwa do ndiga ni mondo ipodu ni edensha ogamu tima ogamu tubukin upoku kindwa ku mungu eka do nwaru mungu ogamu da ku elema tech pn connection u bedu pe pn pin lema tukubu ku mwa ku mungu sha otor kine matubu u mondo nipodumia den ekedon re wanano ni anisha kire tanga mberesha wa romongo ushako kabe ushako kabe ginde ushako kabe kayo dugalur dugalur ne beshe anya tango ushako kabe daki yore matong tong tong pian don connection ko mungu sha bedombe dano ushako yubu yore matong tong ni nyutu waro ni mungu eke don ki nemo nene e ki nemo mungu o gamudo go oru wode kulo mo tapio wa e u bedo pira shell karania dano ginuang ve yore ni dog ve iwaro mungu matira ma yang enu tu iwa iya shaki nesha itangambere nesha eke don wagamudo go shaku washo ni a kawa waro mungu nege ne umakwa wore yore ni makani bibiria washo ni umaku bedi iya mo itipu ile manda pian kinda meshwi uwe tanga meresha wala rasha kubedi tipu ane mungu e mungu mele manda mungu nindra ene juwok eke do ni le manda ane ena ngo le manda ane e aishwi mwa muke tuka kamogo boka washi esha ni akara kara e waro mungu mbe ishopu waro mgo mungu wariyo ibe kurijiyo e ibe kutali pia ibe kudango ibe kudaguli madoga ek renwamu shiye nga ibe shido kani ikanisa esha kadi nwamu niya iti ime iti ime niya karadano kudone ya nungu but mungu tiye mungu mawange bet eneno le mi itipu le mawo kukende ngo eke do nkani shwa andra kudige niya ibe shwa ibe ibe gile ibe shwa andra mungu miongo mungu miyo wangubo washo niya megu matini ubedu pasta hele nepe kanyutu iwa niya aa mungu e waro mungu utiye lemba shel me washo iwa ishika par ni akuni war mungu mange ento en pien mungu mungu share mungu mungu pare kupen mange eke tuu nkani bedu sha ige nini ya yukwede ibi bedu yukwede ibi bedu karata deto tiye kwa wangi ura shel bahi wa shati ya kana shel ma mungu bini ute iri mungu ebe kawashu kumai waro mungu eni ware umako yang ike langye 
Coming in and go to poor and go shall be a do as you near. Don't you want a monga shell of making a market bed or mark in one a new baby jalar peri? Can you want a baby jalar peri? A gamma meal in tip my lane, Makubu tip my lane with your ship of a mongo, Makubu could tip a peri in a dano, Kara war perisha obed e tipu man in lemanda. Then I'm in a shake, my shake as you dig a coma, a bed in lapor, shallow simu e simu e utiesh. Niti u simu, kani tiu ku simu, shalo kana mita goi simu, ni feta. Mm. Uma ku connection u bedu tiengo. Mm. Don connection sha, pin mo ku tie makelu connection nesha. Mm. E sim card. Mm. So sim card tie shalo holy spirit. Mm. Makelu connection sha, kara ana we shibang mm. feta. Mm. Don kana we shiba feta, <coughs> ango ma isholo, uh, i, 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 shol ango, Pieni kone i i i sim kado ma ke will air time mm. yeah. yes so Christo re he paid the price mm. so e yeah. will you are air time sha kara wati ku sim kado sha ni weisho mongo koda shalo ana weisho ko feta mm. eke don ni shake ma jibu koda ebe kwa shonia pini moka shell uti ma pira tiki kum simu mm. eti yango battery mm. battery perisha ti a unde peri mm. so check your battery mm? Mm. battery perisha a shalo ma ke bed charged mm. what charges your battery ama ma charge Unde peri, elenda mo pien le muche ya unde peri sha biki tu niyo connection ube tu tia niyo pe kumongo peri ne. Pien if your battery is down, you will lose the connection. So the Holy Spirit, even if it is there and your heart is hardened, manuangu shuni sha otorongo iti ya kushuni matek manuang piare iti kule na dupa dupa mika di iye pinyo shuni kule egi na down gumi tia iye keto sa mugo waro mugo nete. Ete mano, e jai, piendo sim card mano na magukoni shia connection nede makungo ana jige nyaji nyashie kumeni afuayo. Yes, sadi na for modi pi, ebeni pezo West Nile TV ni nazo nse. Amelia onzamu ngo ma ru inzita madria karo kumu ngo inzita madria giri kwa maru ngo inzito de ntongo atre amebi duaya onzamu ngo inzita mafia rengoni mungu inzita ria de ne bari yazuki na mamu mungu inzidi ermafia ngoni. So anza de juu angere mungu inzita madria ajori yake ne ermia ni ni miasi pezo pe opidu rechozo azinga so ni madri malia mami yonde pimati tadi mbele mbele aruskone sande o mede duaya mabo ane bero kiro asimu babo amas ni dile bafe amani chozi yonza zwe mbetu alo alisko ni aka edo di vini yonza mae toto edo onze amadile bafe mini mini vini chozi tiapezu utitari mali ende tegu amani nzangere re ere oku samari harpi meselia yesu be yeni yonza re meselia ego mingi fukida ane Eka bukuri la Ngamia zako Nizu me mungu inzi ngone Mito mungu inzi giriko kili Rore se ngone ngone Hadiblani epyo Amani emba Emidri sabar maliare Ama nyokine Mene mungu inzi ria Faze eche letame maje ye Ene chozo Nazo kine azone sebe mungu inzi Ajwe ya sivure Rebe opone Azkune ya sima alia Ejo mtondo ni efo Ejo muka ni efo Asima alia sira Ejo onzene vene efo Asima alia sira Aso e kamia sima tamba Kino leko misu ne alenia Ejo mtondo ni efe ka Refe ka Adira sa Nia dozo wa rese ya manga vene Olu sabato sidri Dadi ya dika Eyo nzezo, eyo mungu maru inzuta beru madria, kanu kumungu inziza madria, efe nirengoni are, ama erechari ara alari ya buku ndondo, ira, echezo amare kine, ama echota mungu inzi, ngoni, asia dabe, ngoni are. Ayo ni abine ra kine, saa zia bazi, kivene sereba ombe mopilia, eki vene mungu inzi, ni upilia ni adene, eh? Me eki ne mukere mimi muzu doctor moto moto pia doctor ivuani mimi mukere eh eh pazi kipere eki yao yinga vi mupi giri kondondo se lazwe mazakozo atesa bar malia ama amamu amvela ruware amalongo azisuware 
Dama vutia amadrida amemu eyo dama eti ombe ndorine Parifuwa mm. ngereto uh, akadidri dawa malimo simudu We are going for a short musical break when we come back We'll just come and pick you up your phones We are not uh, going away, Sabiti has not yet ended We are just having a short musical break We'll be right back to pick your phone calls We want to summarize this because our time is really up I'm going to invite Pastor Harriet uh, to sum up this uh, in, in uh, five minutes or so Yeah, five minutes uh, at least uh, ensure that you make an altar call uh, mm -hmm. that is very important for us and then afterwards uh, we might uh, receive a few phone calls also uh, from here uh, so you're most welcome Pastor Harriet sum up this and uh, we proceed with our program thank you I just want to to do a, a summary a bit here um, we did say that uh, right from Genesis we see God introducing himself and introducing his love. And it's right from that place that we see that uh, man is created to worship God. And also the things that God has created, we are to worship him. Now, we did say that we cannot worship that or him that we don't know. A very interesting thing happened. Uh, between God and Moses. When he encountered Moses, it's one of the most beautiful stories I like. He appeared to Moses in a burning bush, and he called Moses to himself, and as in Exodus 3, so as Moses drew closer to God, God told him, remove your shoe, for you are standing on a holy ground. And Moses did that. And then from that day, God began to reveal himself to Moses and reveal his purposes to Moses. But then there's one thing that God told Moses. When he was sending Moses to release the children of Israel from, from, from Egypt, he, he revealed himself as I am. And he told Moses when you go there, tell them, I am who I am. And tell them I am has sent you. That the children of Israel may get out of Egypt and worship him. So everything about God is worship to him. To him. If you see God go to a war, it's because worship. Worship has been diverted. And Pharaoh was receiving worship. And you know, and the children of Israel, they were created to worship God. They lost their way. So God wanted that fellowship with them restored. So he sent Moses. But he revealed himself to Moses. So I believe that today as we make this introduction to worship, there are people that God wants to reveal himself to. Just like we've talked here, we've said God has dealt with our hearts. And we've said that, uh, uh, we've said that uh, you may be thinking that it is, it is very correct with us. But we want to tell you it's a relationship. A day-to-day -day thing. Every day we work on our hearts. And therefore there's an invitation today. There's an invitation, my brother and sister. For you to come to the knowledge of Christ. Because we said you cannot go and worship the one you don't know. And then we said without Christ, it is impossible to worship. Actually, later we will look at who do we worship at another moment when we come next. So then we also said you need the Holy Spirit to help you to correctly worship the Lord. Because God is looking for those who worship him in truth and in spirit. So I want to ask that there could be men and women, young people, children, boys and girls, who are saying, today we have heard, or you are that person who is at that region on your west, and you're saying, today I want to drop this thing. I want to worship the one and true God. I want to walk in alignment. I want my worship to make sense to the Lord. I want my worship to be worthy. 
I know we will ask that you call us. You call us and we would like to pray with you and lead you to Christ so that your worship can make sense, so that you can worship the one and true God. And I think that's where I will hold it as I wait for people to yes. ask the Lord in their lives. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, thank you so much, uh, Pastor Harriet. We are receiving your phone calls right now. Our uh, studio lines are uh, right there on the screen. Uh, give us that call. Uh, we shall be able uh, to respond and uh, to uh, answer you. Uh, so, uh, do the need for call that line, Modipi. I'm a line, Ibanzibo. Mr. Manisi Mubara. Ti Apezo. Ejo Aluiri Nibazo. Ejo Andro Amane Nzeru Madria. Hameyo Nze Mungu Maru Nzita Madria. Kanoko Mungu Maru Iduza Madria. Ani Savar Malia. Anjidi Ama Laini Bo. Pastor Rieti Yodi Araki ni Mito Simu Bara. Eka Lea Siodza. Mini Dileba Fevini Asiodza Zu. Obiti Vadi Sera. Eba Amane Simu. Eyo Kinele Ta. Opini nira ile miya si fe yes kristo di. Eyo amane nze kakari maalia. Ani ama imi ava mburu se. Namba mavrelo. Vas kuri ma andretia de. Ene namba nde kilili. Namba de. Ane amane yodu azia. Andra se reko. Defini namba azindu neso. Ene rikilika. Mega defini erindo. Yes. Our first caller. Hello. Hello. We're live on West Nile TV. Oh, so I need a moment. I want to meet you. 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 Nye mungu nike, e mungu mungu ni bedo ni jala harperi. Kara tipu pa mungu uponji don. Kadi nwa wano dana do mwajibu. Tipu pa mungu, mungu ndi imandi ponji ni adojo temu ni ni di. Angwa angwa kumeni. Do namba mungu kujugwa ya simu kujugwa ya simu kujugwa ya simu kujugwa ya simu kujugwa ya simu. Tangwenu abero abora angwenu. Abusi ya labusi ya labero abusi ya labora abero. Kanyo yodo nini tunya a a indo ni nyang. Rewa shunya akesho wa limodu nyo de. Nyo wa shunya ake medi lembe moko de yu lema juwe shi yu lema e tini. Nini ti penji penji. Nia au unu wa shoko mae ere ma ea nyangi ingo. Ma ea de shopi re namba mwati e. Tangwenu abera bora angwenu. Abusi ya labusi ya labero abusi ya labora abero sifa. Hmm. Laini yetu mefungika katika studio ya Wesna ya TV Tuna wakaribisha mutaweza kutukigia simu Kama muwezi kapiga mutaweza kututumia Pia message tuko hapa Sani hii sari ya kusikia kwenu Ama mkitaka kuokoka Pia dada zetu Pastor Harriet hako hapa Ata wasaidia Mwa simamisha kati wa mungu Tunaendelea, tunaendelea, tunaenda mbele, batu na kisa, kongo, batu, kongo, batu, kongo, nenda, mbo na ezaki mke, na suloni na bino tema, kambo mingi me, na kati esprito, zamo, kole, lo, oyo, tozo, tala, esengeli, opo, na zambe, oyo, esengeli, otosa, so kyo lingia mokili, yo kaka, so kyo lingia zambe, yo, ye kolo, oya, bongisi, yo, ezali, yo kaka, awa, tozana, mpana, viso, ndeko, hari, azolo, ba, pona, bato, oyo, Bozoni, oh, bozoni gabo shanze, vina bino ndenge ya kumanda, bozoni gabo pesa gomu ina bino epana nzambe, tosito fongoli linye na biso ya studio. Nime wangu ezali awa li bozona ngai ngaje na zosa la kontrole yango, toko za nese ngoso kibo bengi, batu na kongo na zose la bino po, kati ya mikuwa bozo pesa na soni mingi. Bobe ngangate, bozo sala nini tena kumina mawangati ya mitema. Toza kaka awa, oe lekima kambu anzambe, ezalite. Yes, we have a caller. Hello, we are live on Arsenal TV. Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Hello. Hello. Ah, 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 nani, eh, shiba nga kudugalu, rumira. Eh. Nyingi tuwe ngaigo si mkukani. Ah, ninguém tem o dinheiro até agora. Sim, porque porque não é. Não é casamento. O dinheiro é para o na casamento. Não casamento tinha ninguém. Na casamento tinha meu pai, então tinha meu pai, o amor, meu tio. Sim, bir, cadê a rua que caiu? Deu quatro dias. 
Eyo, don't care, Timmy Boko, which you will lend water or mongo. You will never put him here, you are mocking me showing an okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, as we get other yeah. callers, uh, yeah. this caller from Nakasongola was actually having a, a concern. He's saying the elders of the church are teaching us wrongly. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> they tell us, don't do this, do this, and yet they're the very ones who are doing it wrongly. I so it is better we go back to the order of how it was in the beginning. Yeah, Let us take another call. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hello. West Nile TV live. You're live on West Nile TV. Hello. Hello. So, like you were saying, they're saying, do what I say, but mm -hmm. not what I do. Yes. <laughs> and so, that was that was his cry. Mm. And maybe, as we also get to the point whereby mm. our guest is going to summarize, she will mm. hint on, at least advise us, mm. in the various sectors, mm. uh, walks of life, where we fellowship from, what should be the guideline, or how can it be done? Mm. Um, and if it is being done that way, what would be uh, the response from the sheep also? Mm. Hello, you're live on Western TV, it's a British show live every Sunday. Hello. Oh, Sorry. I think the network mm. today is a bit, is yeah. a bit tricky, but yeah. keep calling. Mm. Keep calling and we shall receive your, uh, we shall receive your lines. Mm. Yes, yes, better. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, very important issues that we have been talking this uh, morning and afternoon. Mm. Uh, what we are trying to say is uh, we should know mm. how to worship. Someone is calling. Uh, uh, maybe he has something to uh, put on this. Hello, you're live on West Nile TV. What for you? Hello. Hello. I think today's network is a bit tricky. Hello. 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 Yes, hey. please. What is your name? I am called Annette. Aha. Uh -huh. Where are you calling from, Annette? I'm calling from UTC Chema. Yes, please. Uh, I'm very, very happy for the program. Thank you. Oh, God. I love it. And I have one question which I would like to ask. Yes. And before I go to my question, I've learned a lot from this program. Like Hallelujah. Amen. We need to deal with our heart first before mm. we 
yeah. we we get into that worship. true worship with yeah. God. Mm -hmm. yeah. One, two, the second thing I learned is that for us to pray, for us to be in true mm -hmm. worship, this is the Holy Spirit which leads us. Very true. Very true. And my question is like this. Mm -hmm. what, what causes one to be like stagnant in worship? Because you see in a situation where someone has been really true worshiper and uh, mm. you will find all of the sudden this person tries like to be in that worship but mm. things are not moving on you see things are not going the way the person expected like it happened with me some time back mm. i used to be a good worshiper and i find that there is that connection with god you yourself if you are in the spirit you will realize that you're in that connection with mm. god but as time keeps on going, I kept on seeing that things are not flowing the way it used to. And I always pray to God that I need to come back to that same serious worship with God. But mm. I find it very difficult. I would like to know from Pastor Helen what causes that. Okay, okay. That is great. Yes. And maybe before you go <laughs> offline, could you send your greetings, please? Oh, Greeting goes to Fetus. Oh, Fetus. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> then the next goes to Pastor and you uh -huh. also. Uh -huh. All of us, thank you so much. Yeah, and everyone, I, uh, I, I, I send another greeting to Bridget to Amoyo. Oh, <laughs> that is great. Have a lovely and blessed Sunday. Yeah. Like, Keep why? watching, we are going to answer those uh, those questions. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. All right. Okay. Mm. Thanks. Well, uh, the calls are still coming in. Mm. Please call in with your questions. And I know there are some who are being caught up by network, but it shall be well. So keep trying and keep trying. Yes. Pastor, well, so we, we are talking about uh, this <laughs> uh, being stagnant. Mm -hmm. Baby, that is it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know uh, we are going to touch all these parts, but uh, for her sake, Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. Could we just shoot it yes, now? Yes, just, just uh, we, why someone might be stagnant. You know, mm. that issue she's raising mm. has changed many out of mm. church. Yeah. Yes. You know, someone said, I've suffered enough. Mm. Yeah? I've been praying, I've been praying. God is not answering. God is nowhere to be seen. I'm stagnant. I'm not seeing things shift in my life. Mm. I'm not seeing things move. Mm. There, are, there are prophecies that are coming, but they are not manifesting. Mm. Uh, so I'm just stagnant in one place. I have to move. I have to save. So this has changed many people out of church. What do you have to say about this question? Oh, thank, thank you. you. I, I appreciate a lot for the question. And um, yes, one, there could be seasons that we pass through sometimes. Um, there are seasons when your spirit being is in a good place. Mm -hmm. That could be one reason. Another reason is that sometimes when we walk in unconfessed sin, mm -hmm. we open the door for the enemy and also for our worship to go in a place that is not fired up. When our sister Daisy talked about what is the condition of your battery? <laughs> is it charged? So, it still takes us back to the heart. Worship flows from the place of the heart. Now, I love something about David. David was a great worshipper of God. He wrote several uh, psalms in praise and worship to God. But one day when David fell into sin and the prophet Nathan confronted his sin, David confessed his sin in Psalm 51. So I want to read the 10th verse of Psalm 51. David says, create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steady fast spirit within me. Renew a right spirit.
doing it within me. If you find yourself in such a place, please do not despair. Go back to the Lord. He is merciful. He is gracious. He is full of mercy. He is compassionate. You ought to be true to your God. Just like David confessed your sin and ask him to create a clean heart. And not to take his Holy Spirit away from you. To renew a steady fast spirit. To renew your worship, the worship inside of you. Do not run. Let us say better. People tend to say, ah, I have waited for this fulfillment. It has, you know, like the timing has gone. Certain things, just like I talked about seasons, certain things come with those seasons. So, be patient also with yourself when you're going through that. But stay in the presence of God. Yeah. Read the scripture. Yeah. Keep the right for company. God has blessed us now a lot with, with worship which is exposed through songs. By different people. If for some reason I begin to feel low, I play a certain worship. Personally, I love Victoria Renze. Mm -hmm. I can play worship by this lady. I'm telling you, I can pray for hours. I can worship for hours. Sometimes you need somebody else to ignite you. Sometimes you need an external encouragement. Mm -hmm. We are not in an age now where if you are stuck, even in Rhino Camp, you can still log on mm -hmm. and your spirit is lifted. Mm -hmm. So do not despair. Mm -hmm. Do not stay in a place of despair. Amit, I want to believe that God is going to revive your spirit up today. And not only you and any other person that is going through that dry place, that today there is a release of the rivers of God right from this studio to you. Who is in that place? Because we are not just here talking about worship. It feels so loud for us here, by the way. We are not talking head knowledge. We are actually expressing this and feeling it in our spirits. So I want to believe that whoever is listening today, that a revival is coming to your spirit. A revival of your worship life Amen. is coming to you. So you have not listened in vain today. Amen. And God is doing something. He's do, God is always doing something. Be expectant. Don't despair. If today it has not learned to be expectant, God says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Can't you perceive? He says, Forget the former things. So forget the yesterday which was dry. Look out in expectancy for what God is doing. Yes. Uh, this is just this is just a one off. Sometimes we think that worship is uh, spiritual excitement. Mm. So if my spirit is not excited, mm. it means my worship is not going up. Mm. No, sometimes it is just in the stillness. Mm. Sometimes it is not all the happy, the active, the what, no, no, no. He says even in the valley of the shadow of death, there he is. Even in that moment, that seems stagnant, there it is. We see uh, in, in science, simple science, in science, um, the, the mosquitoes lay eggs in what? In stagnant places, in waters. Sometimes the rebirth is also in that stagnant place. For God to lay something upon, in your, upon your heart, the rest has to cease until he finds the true you in that silence and stillness. And then, the, you see, the before, before you hear the thunder, the lightning comes. Sometimes that spark comes in that darkest moment before you start hearing what is going on. So sometimes for the season she has been talking about, that is the season. And it is still well. 
Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, our dear friends uh, who are watching right now. These words all go to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to say that it's well. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're going through, yeah. it is well. Mm -hmm. What we are saying is uh, hang on for a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a man of God uh, who uh, was praying for a dead body to resurrect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, sad face. Such things are less. Yes, <laughs> tell us. It was like it came. People were crying. People were moaning. Say, where is the dead body? Uh -huh. They said inside. He went inside. He said, Ah, this one can resurrect you. Know. <laughs> ah. He started praying. He prayed for for two hours. Uh, nothing was happening. He said, You people, you have no faith. They all move out. Uh, like Jesus did, he sent them out. He said, Lock the door. They locked the door, and he started praying. He started praying. He prayed. He prayed. Nothing was shifting. Nothing was shifting. He said, Ah, there were two. Eh? So he said, Now they sat down, they started uh, thinking of uh, how, how they can now move out. <laughs> <laughs> how they can <laughs> yeah? Because they had prayed all the prayers that they knew, it wasn't working. Nothing was shifting. Mm -hmm. So they sat down, they were now plotting, how can we move out of here? People are eagerly waiting for us outside. We have rested <laughs> there five hours <laughs> yeah, with our prayers. Just imagine they would have done something already for the funeral and all that, but five hours we have rested. Mm -hmm. So as they were talking this, the dead body coughed. Mm -hmm. So the person that died, resurrected when they when had, had given up, up. Mm. they had given up they were now planning it is no longer about do. them uh -huh. mm. yeah. so it it is at the point that when you realize that like this is said it's no longer about you mm. it's not about your feelings mm. it's not about anything about you i'm it not is feeling about it about <laughs> The, the, the same man of God said he prayed for uh, a person who was blind. Mm -hmm. Like the face was totally, you don't see the eyeballs, nothing. It was just like flat. You mm -hmm. can just see the nose and the mouth. Mm -hmm. But the mother came and said, please pray. This is my only son. I want him to see. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, people had known him for demonstrating and doing miracles. Mm. So he said, Oh God, this one, if you know, <laughs> it cannot happen. You know this one. Eh? <laughs> is, he, he told the woman openly, For me, I cannot do this. But this one is insisted. beyond God. <laughs> this is beyond God. The woman insisted. So he, he said he was buying time. Mm. He was praying for this one, but knowing that he was buying time. Mm. He came to the madam. He said, how do I do this? Mm. Madam said, just call for some worship. People close their eyes. You sweep. Mm. So he, they had arranged for this. Mm. As soon as he called for the worship, and people were now uh, worshiping, mm. he wanted to take off. Mm. That's when the, the mother started shouting, she can see, she, mm. he can see, he can see. And he was like, what? When he was moving, mm. he was moving out, and the lady started shouting. He can see. He can, he came and he saw the guy had eyes. Mm. From that moment, he knew it's not about him. Yes, it's not yes. about us. Yes. This is love. so. Mm. Finally, mm. you summarize this, and we move on. We have spent our time very well. Mm. We apologize for really moving up, but mm. it's the leading of the spirit. Yes. So bear with us, yeah. Mm. Wow, it's been a, a very, very fruitful time in the presence of the Lord. We've been so blessed and we believe that God is reviving his worship on this land. Amen. Yes, Amen. I believe it. I believe it. That God is reviving his true worship in this land and among his people. Mm -hmm. So today is, is, is a wake up for all of us. Yeah. And we can worship him. He's a loving God. Yeah. He's faithful. He's true. He's yeah. compassionate. There are, there are beautiful attributes about our God that make us want to worship him, that make us want to identify with him. So this is it. I am so excited. I am looking forward to the next. I, I, I am really excited. I bless the Lord for, for this program. Uh, this has been in my spirit for a while. Like uh, someone molding a pot. Mm -hmm. 
mm. and breaking it again mm. and molding it mm. again mm. and breaking it again mm. and until it becomes the finest mm. that they want mm. so my dear friend if you're a believer mm. these people that you're seeing seated here mm. as i said we are not saints mm. if you go back and see where god picked us from if you mm. saw what god did upon us at a certain point you maybe you have said god this is too much don't worry i, I started this by saying go through the fire mm. you never know We're don't fine. sometimes when you pray against something against against and it is not <laughs> changing i said the man of god said you're praying all against things work for the good and you know when you're praying against anointing nothing will save it will just be there you just know that really sometimes this is how god wants it to be go through it but as pastor harriet said be in the presence of the lord yeah. as you're going through it be in the presence of mm. the lord keep reading your their bible even though you're understanding nothing mm. just read it mm. even though you're reading it like a novel read it mm. even though you're uh, you're just uh, praying uh, like uh, you don't feel it pray mm. listen to the songs mm. you never know at certain moment it will change yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Daisy yes. and Asifa, uh, mm -hmm. your last words, and uh, we have spoken with Pastor Ariel. <laughs> yes. Asifa, mm. please. You first, Bomoy. Ah. Eh, eh, eh. Jofua, tino bedo le maleng, tino bedo sabeti ma. Manda, miti ipuman kunyo, mille manda. Wafoyo udano mbe kanenwa, wafoyo udano mo joining one, wafoyo udano mo winjwa. What you have a team when you to you are kita ni makomo wa rekode and wa kwa yoni adong shallow team wa shopu jige nyi. Shirungo na ve shallow mira beka wa shusha. One di bili ya peri. Nye mungu peri. Pienta nye mungu manda ane tia ma e. Mungu ma yara na jubi yaro ili. Kani miti nye mungu peri. Mungu manda ane esha keta ngambele esha paka bi ilemba nyuta epe nyutu iri nye ana mungu makomo wa wara komo wa komo wa komo wa Kani wora kumai 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 ma e biti mire kani wora ngo kumai ma e biti mire eke don e konyo wa iwoto ne ma e ni pien shalom ina wa shonesha wajuma e wakana ngoni a shiyo ngobe da gulu kodo gulu ne gimo guma do jugo solo te kwa ira wako kani no ngo super gulu super gulu de kaku mungu ngo no ngo ma ngo wa peka kai re e toro a dunde mwa kara woro Kara wore kupedu pwe timire mana umia mo umia yong ire kito mo buhasi ya sa mo kuna mo nyole ni beka di ele mareji ele mangu ele mbedupa sa mo ku ele mu makuti mangu uturi kara edo geyu bi ire kara woro miti puman dumi le mandasha. Otemire iwe ni mapare. Ana swalu mutu mano kona shidongo. Ati yekuda wia. Au kuni gima madongo kuma tembe sheke. Au mutu. Ingano maka kwani kia kwana dhani gimo kuki washuni. Awe wepa nyingi. Kidupa. Au kia para shiki 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 mutu. Ele uye ofua ajere zombo kama ngishi. Haa. Mungu meju mugisa. Pane ya jupatoi east west kuwara. Kuna kia sheke 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 mwijie bukinde. On my foil. I do shake me for quash me to numb, for sugar, for osha, for shiba, for dana negisha. I was in your mood, my new mood is what foil near the nan, what pack a bit, eh? Tin was sure in a knock, pick, and then you mocash at the day, but for four near more to look for what, amen. Yes. My, okay. my last mm. word is like this. Um, actually, it's just a piece of advice to every child of God. Uh, mine, I just want to put it forward. It's all about faith. Mm. Uh, you know, at times we have a lot of temptations mm. that comes our ways. Mm. At times you feel like you shouldn't pray, but the heart is telling you to mm. pray. Even if you feel that your prayers is not reaching, that's not the case. Mm. God is there. God will always stand by, by you. God will always guide you and uplift you. Continue praying no matter how you feel. No matter how things are, just continue praying. Even if you don't see the result now, our God is God of time. Mm -hmm. So it is like you're, you're planting something. Um, the time of the harvest, mm -hmm. obviously it will come. Yes. So this is all I want to tell each and every child of God. Mm -hmm. uh, let's continue in the spirit that God wants 
not these other ones, the ones who are, <laughs> my, okay, the ones who are divided in mind, in the mm. heart, you mm. want to serve God, you want to have risk, what and what you're wasting your time. Mm. The ones who think maybe a witchcraft is the solution to everything, you're wasting your time, and let Jesus be the great, great witch doctor. In, the, in your life, <laughs> this is all I want to put forth. So I'm sending my greetings to all my dear ones, uh, the people of Kukwero. Uh, uh, my, my, <laughs> let me say my clan, the Obweros, the mm. Oos. They I'm sending my greetings, Sister Desire, uh, in Papach, the staff members of Family Care, also my people in Congo, Nazongo Tebino Yoso, Dozoke Deli Gozoto, CDC program, and Songo Mbeza Biete. Uh, watu wa swahili zote minawapenda sana minawasalimia mungu akue nani mm. ok awadide uh, sawa atara sawa atara, sawa atara. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sawa atara e, tuja wara uh, sawa atara Era mabini mupariro reko Ala warifo family angiri tu Vasi uh, tezasi Mini vina ma program lesi Mina ufuzo wa mabe pere sawa romalia resi Mungu matembe makwe miaza Mambe mitapari ya minazuri malia Mama ziki ni wiki di maativi ni emidiadile muke Mama mungu wa sizuri yu Yazu uh, Tahari uh, Heri muamani mungu asizuri zite uh, Sabatu vula risi ya mangadi diati Lemi maviku There are still pending questions uh, Somehow that we need to tackle very well uh, Like especially our elders Who are not showing us good direction Our clergymen Who are not showing us good direction Our deacons who are not showing us good directions Our church elders Who are not showing good direction How should we go about it uh, should we follow them or what does the Bible say? Uh, so uh, that question came. We will really try to ask it up in the next uh, program that uh, we shall be having. Uh, so thank you so much. Pastor Riet will close with the words of prayers. Thank you. I will close in this manner. I will say the, the blessing, the Aaronic blessing, because God said to Aaron that Every time the people gather and meet, say the blessing on them so that I, God, will put my name on them. So I want to release the blessings of God on everyone who's been watching. Mm. Now the Lord bless you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and the Lord be gracious to you and be kind to you. The Lord bless everything that concerns you, your family, your children, your businesses, your work. And the Lord calls everything that you put your hand to, to prosper. And let his name be written on your faces. And the Lord guide you and lead you by his spirit. And let the blessings of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you from this day and henceforth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. Thank you so much, our dear friends. It has been the aspects are together with our guest that is pastor harriet uh, we are uh, moving out of here we'll be right here back on sunday yes. thank you we want to thank our producer mr park jonathan cameraman the zone thank you so much and uh, our dj who has been silent for a while dj jero thank you so much and everyone has been part of this bye bye for now we love you all <laughs>